and welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good today we're gonna break down the video seven weird things that a girl does when she likes you what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making she's a hot about seven weird things that women okay. do when they actually like you you know we're confused uh we don't want to show that we like you we act funny you know all of that and maybe sometimes we even act like we don't like you but we go home and i'm like oh my god i love her while you're outside and you ignore him you don't yeah that's true they do actually do that when they're by themselves oh don't talk to me <laughs> like bitches is stupid i swear but anyways so today i'm gonna help you uh decrypt is that a word in english i hope mm -hmm. um but decipher, that's a word maybe decipher what them bitches be talking about even better all word. right number one she's constantly fixing herself Okay. Yes, she wants to look her best for you. Mm. You know, maybe you at a restaurant. Yes, you went on a date, but you're not sure she's really fucking with you. If she excuses herself mm. and goes to the bathroom and come back looking even better, she went and got ready for you, looking better for you. You know, putting some more lip gloss, adjusting the blush, adjusting the hair. You know, women play with their hair all the time. Hair is very sensual, very sexual. So if you know that she keeps on like you know making sure that it yeah. looks perfect for you it is really for you okay i gotta agree with her on this one uh if she m dresses up for you and she's constantly looking good that's a good thing uh the only negative thing about that is let's say that you are in a relationship with a girl and let's say you're two years in or maybe even three after a while she kind of stops doing all of this for you she doesn't dress up for you as much uh and then all of a sudden you start to notice that she's she's just dressing up and she's starting to look very very good and she's you know she's 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 doing the extra then it's maybe a sign to get out of the relationship because she might be cheating on you so that that's a double-edged sword but yes in the beginning if she looks super good smells nice and she's she's just putting her best foot forward then she's interested so looks department that is something that's very important because think of this like a girl sits two maybe three hours just preparing themselves for you so if she looks very very good that's a very good indicator i agree 100 percent there number two she's nervous around you a lot of women mm. when they like someone they tend to be nervous okay you know and we're gonna start fidgeting with the fingers, the hair playing with the hair, the not knowing what to do, what to say, what to put her hands. We're just moving around the whole time. Mm. That is a telltale sign. She doesn't wanna make a bad impression and she's unsure of yeah. what she should be doing to, to look her best for you. Mm. So she's just nervous. She might yeah, being nervous, mm, I don't know. It, she, as a girl, could, cause I've dated both very super extroverted and some introverted, uh, but it's also that that sometimes she could just be introvert. If she's just an introvert as a person, she's just shy. And if she is introvert, then it's very, very difficult to know if she's just an introvert or if she's just shy. So that goes both ways. Uh, but if she is shy around you, that is true. She's probably thinking about what to say next. Maybe she doesn't want to screw it up. Uh, then that's a high indication that she is very interested, yes. Most guys be thinking that, well, if she's attractive, she's used to that, so she, she can't be nervous because of me. No, she might be nervous because she likes you and she doesn't know what to do. And a good indicator is as well if she's mimicking you. Uh, that's just something which I was thinking of, you know, like when a girl's mimicking you, mimicking your language, saying things that you say, um yeah then she's very interested so i mean it's hard with hot girls because you usually they're not nervous so if they're nervous then they must like the guy a lot but hot girls get a lot of attention so that's that's a difficult one to maneuver number three she mm. laughs at all your jokes i am sorry you are not that funny sorry or you might be that funny, but she always makes sure that she laughs at all your jokes because she doesn't want you True. to feel awkward mm. if uh, 
nobody is laughing and she want to make sure that you know that she finds you funny mm. she is paying attention to you and is worried about you in that way you know? and to add to that i think if she's just in a good mood she's not nagging you she is constantly interested in what you're saying and she's listening she's attentive uh that's also a very good sign um laughing at your jokes you could be just like super funny because uh, sometimes what I've, I've been friend zoned twice, maybe three times by girls. So it has happened to me as well. Uh, but funny, funny is just being funny. Funny is always a good thing. People will always gravitate towards you if you're funny. Uh, but if you, if she's laughing at your jokes does not mean that she is interested in you. She could just think that you're a super funny individual, but have no sexual attraction to you so that goes both ways i don't think it's just if she's like laughing at your jokes and doesn't mean that she's interested she she maybe thinks that you're a funny guy and you're interesting and you know but she maybe doesn't have that sexual attraction to you so mm, i don't agree with funny i don't agree with that one but let's continue no she smiles she giggles mm. she does the hair all that you already know you're in there number four she teases you so it's you know when you were kids and you like the girl and you kept on talking shit or pulling her hair it's the same principle so it might seem like she fucking hates you don't fuck with you at all but why is she paying so much attention to you why she got so many mean things to say to you she might say shit like are you trying to pick me up because it's really not gonna work teasing you mm, mm, that's also one thing which i'm like ah uh not really i would not say if a girl's teasing you she likes you i would say if she tries to touch you or she's she's she wants to touch you or she's touching your things that is a very very good indicator or even playing with the hair it's like she's she doesn't know where to put her hands so she's constantly thinking like okay am do, do i look pretty am i pretty enough for him am i enough so playing with the hair and touching you or trying to touch is is a good indicator but if she's teasing it's like uh don't don't read too much into if a girl's teasing you she's trying to convince herself that she don't want you and that you know actually she's also putting out that you might want her you know it's it's all of a mind game she fucking likes you she might say stuff oh my god you are idiot mm. that's that's a good one my personal favorite is oh my god i'm so done with you yeah, that is that is something which I have to agree with her there because if she's low-key irritated by you, then that is an indicator that she likes you. Because I always say this, love and hate is the same emotion. So if a person loves you, they they can hate you. And if they can hate you, they can love you. So sometimes some people go the other route where they arouse her, they they insult the girl and then they get them riled up and then they can switch, you know. And but that's that's if you're really, really good at game. You you get a girl like really super pissed off at you and then she's like screaming at you and doing all of that. And then you can change that because when you just you know, hey babe, I'm sorry, I, I apologize. Hey babe, I hate you know, and then you can while she's like super, super angry, you can shoot out like, hey, babe, I love you. Hey, I bought you flowers. Like, stop it. Don't don't be that way. Uh, then you're then you're switching because then if she breaks like character and she starts to smile, you know that you have her. Let's continue. I am not done. I'm saying exactly the opposite. That's what I mean. And I'm not saying she's sold on you yet because she might not be sold, but she's highly interested and she's still trying to figure out what she can do with you. She mm. sees the potential and maybe she sees you as a challenge, but she's still mm, tiptoeing, trying to figure out, huh, do I like him? So she's gonna throw you some jabs. That, that's a teasing. Also by doing so, she's testing your level of confidence yeah. and your strength. Mm. So just be cool about it. Don't get riled up, don't get upset. And the best way to handle this type of girl is to actually tease her back. She would like Yeah, yeah. Always tease her back, never be too much uh i was on this date with this girl actually now that i think of it like um and i'm thinking of these indicators right because we're we went out she was an american girl we went out and we were like 
eating it was like simple date it was just dinner and then i took her back to the hotel but i remember like she was sitting and then she was she was asking me a lot of questions about myself i was you know talking a little bit about myself but i could sense like she did not want to talk so much about herself uh and then you know she she was like playing with her hair she was mimicking me a lot j laughing at my jokes this and that like like so so yeah i would, I would say like I would say maybe this is maybe this is more in America. Maybe this is more in America because in Europe it's a little bit different. In Europe it's more touch, more touching your things because European girls are way way quieter than American girls. Love that. Women love banter. You got to mm, be able to do the true. back and forth. Number 5, she acts helpless. Women want to be with a leader. So if she is a little bit interested, okay. she's going to ask you to help her do things that she can do for herself. We get turned on by seeing men taking charge. We love to act like we're a damsel in distress. Oh, please, can you come and fix my pussy? Yeah. On purpose, we will act weak and vulnerable just for you to come and save us. Captain, save a hose! Yes, that's what we need. That means she wants you to assume the position of a man in her life. Yeah. She's into you. Just be a great leader. Mm -hmm. Number six, she denies liking you. She's going to say, I don't like you. You. <laughs> That's a big thing. Women who don't like you are not going to say, I don't like you. They're yeah. not going to talk about True. that at all. That don't even True. come to their mind. And number seven, she becomes her huge sports fan. Yeah. You know them well. The True. girls don't like none of them sports, yeah. nothing. But now she knows the name. She knows the name of your team. Yeah. I can give you an extra one, actually. She stalks your social media. So you posted something on social media. So yeah. you can see if she watched your story. Especially yeah. if she doesn't follow you. But you see her name on your story. That's nuts. And also, maybe she has a, a burner account, you know. So yeah. she's not coming out like this, showing her name that she saw your story. But she's going to talk about something you posted on there. Yeah. And you may be like, well, how you know? I didn't. Yeah, they do stalk us on social media. That is something which I've I've noticed a lot. Uh, and it's very important that your social media is also looking good because like I know some people which are like super charismatic and like great guys, but their social media is just like trash. So if you can put better pictures up on your Instagram or whatever, because Instagram is a dating app. That's that's what it is. Uh, yeah, some good pictures on Instagram some activities things that you do because women will be in there checking like oh what is he doing where is he at right now the story is something which they're constantly looking at uh, but i wouldn't even say that i think sometimes they do not want to seem too desperate because i think women are a little they, they overthink and they're constantly thinking about like the way they look and what people think about them and this and that. So it's like, yeah, I agree with the social media and the sports. That's 100%. Like if a girl's trying to figure out which team you like, which which team do you follow? Oh, I'm a Barca fan. I like, then of course she's very interested in you. But yeah, that's that's how it is. Um, but, uh, you know, every girl's, but you know, every girl's different. Not all girls act the same way. Um, but, I would say if, yeah, as she said, if, if there's maybe three, three of these indicators, then she's super interested in you. But my personal list, if I were just to, but my personal list, if I were just to say maybe what, two, three to maybe four things would be touching. If she's touching you or she wants to initiate touch, that's a very, very good indicator that she's interested in you. Just like... Cause her body, you know, can't help it. Like when she, when she is with you, she's probably gonna be like, okay, I need to, I need to pretend like I'm not that interested. But the body is just going to start touching you. She's going to start smiling, and then she's she wants to get closer and closer to you. Cause that's what she's thinking of. And before she knows it, she's super close to you. It could be like she's laying beside you or whatever. It's just like a small little indicator. So touch and how close she is to you that's a very very good indicator that she is like super interested so that's just something to think about when it comes to you know dating and uh yeah but i agree 100 percent 
these were pretty good things actually it's pretty good things it's good that uh Melly made uh, this video but anyway guys uh go in show her some support on her channel and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace